If you're new here, we're a family from America who are currently in the thick of restoring a chateau. We vacillate between pure enjoyment to sheer dread and stress. So by all means, buy yourself a chateau. If you're returning, welcome back and thanks so much for subscribing. Our first order of business is an update on Mimi the Chateau Cat. She's been sequestered in the Grand Salon after surgery to remove a lesion on her nose. Enjoying life as an indoor cat is new for her, but she seems quite content. We recently had two big wind and rainstorms, and I was relieved to know she was warm and safe right downstairs. Her test results didn't yield the greatest news. Squamous cell carcinoma. The vet is hopeful that treatment will be successful since the spot was pretty small. This week we'll take her to a vet oncologist in the city of Wren and hope for the best. Lincoln might have to join OnlyFans to help pay for her treatment. Oh gosh, I hope not. We started working sporadically on this large guest room back in the summer. Wallpaper has been removed, Lincoln Creative decorative moldings, repairs have been made, and finally the paint. So here I am back in the guest room, which again has been the never ending project. We've been busy with other things, but now we have a deadline and we need to get this room done by Christmas because we have family coming to stay with us. This room didn't require a huge amount of repair. I just had some cracks to fill around the plaster work and this was a doorway. We had the plaster man come and fix this and he did an amazing job. You can't even tell there was a, um, a doorway here. So my job is to finish painting this. I should be done this week. Hopefully next week we can show the finished project. Pro product, project, product. So next week we'll be able to show the finished product. While I no longer have to go outside to feed Mimi in the mornings, I still bring food into one of our barns for a couple of feral cats who come and go. We also can't forget about the birds.
So I've been out here collecting donkey poop for the garden. Um, I'm gonna put it on. I'm only collecting the manure that has been sitting here for a while and it, when, it's, when you know it's ready, it sort of looks like, um, how do I describe it? Almost like sawdust. It's very light and fluffy. Um, <laughs> so when it's light and fluffy, it's ready to put onto your garden. You don't wanna apply new manure, fresh manure onto your garden beds because it, it's not good. It can um, burn the plants and um, it needs time to properly age before it works properly. Where'd the donkeys go? I've been here scooping poop. We've had quite a week with the animals between Mimi and Dominic. So we had a visit from the vet for Dominic again. Has nothing to do with his hoof. That problem has been resolved, but we discovered a lump underneath his neck. So the vet came out and performed a sonogram on it and um, put a needle in and took a bit of a sample so they could see what it is. We haven't heard back yet. Um, I'm hoping it's just an abscess and nothing more. So we're keeping our hooves crossed that um, it's nothing to worry about. So I've been keeping busy scooping poop. It's a good amount of poop for now. I'll be back for another load. <laughs> A couple of weeks ago, I began collecting apples to make alcoholic cider. Well, we finally got around to gathering the rest and I'm hoping we have enough. The storms blew most of the apples off of the trees, leaving us to scrounge around beneath the grass to collect them. Our neighbor will pick them up with his tractor and we will hopefully learn the next step in the process, which I assume is squishing them. And this one is too small. I must say we're pretty thrilled we're no longer in danger of falling to our deaths through the bathroom floor. Well, we successfully removed all of the old lead pipe and copper pipe. The lead was amazing, there was so much of it. It went up this wall, up toward the second floor bathroom, went down through the basement all the way around and up into the kitchen on the other end. So I'm glad to have gotten that out. And the copper, we took it out and it was, it was old and brittle. It was just falling apart in our hands. So I'm so glad that we replaced that as well. So what are the chances of this being done by Christmas? <laughs> it, it has to be well, done. Well, it has to be done. Well, we, so. have, um, we have guests coming. So they're expecting a toilet. So are we. Yeah, we are. And so that's exciting for us. We're standing on a floor, so that's pretty cool. Now we're getting to the point where we're actually going to do the bathroom. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
No, that's not Lincoln's man cave. I've asked him to pull out the dishwasher, go behind the stove, and take a video of what we believe is a hidden fireplace. Okay, so here I am going behind the dishwasher. And the first thing you see is some cool old uh, wallpaper. And then over here, some tile. And that's an old fireplace around it. So you can see that, well, it's hard to tell with the camera, but it goes up. There's an opening there that's fireplace shaped. And the tile goes across the top there and then back down the other side. So this area right in the middle, see there's an electrical box mounted on it. That area is what was filled in. So we need to investigate once we get this all opened up. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have something to say, leave us a comment.